This is part two of a three-part video series on penguins and 100% renewable energy in 20 years. Now in part one, we introduced the idea that we wanted a high energy lifestyle for everybody on the planet, 100% renewables could get us there, and that we used energy for transportation, heat, and electricity. We then went on to paint a picture of what energy independence would look like in 20 years. Now there are simple actions that millions are taking right now to get us to energy independence, and clearly we need millions more to take action. We set up this YouTube to be easy to navigate. You can pause in YouTube and then choose one of these topics, or you can skip to the next topic by clicking in the button in the lower left. And anytime you want you can come back to this contents page. Energy independence for transportation, test driving an electric car. In part one, we talked about electric cars as being fun to drive and that when we added that to the dollar savings, for example filling up at 90 cents a gallon of electrons, and charging with wind and solar, that that meant rapid adoption of electric vehicles. But you really don't get the sense of fun to drive unless you put your seat into the driver's seat. So we strongly recommend that people actually take the time to test drive an electric vehicle. Some good choices are the Nissan LEAF, which is an all-electric moderate priced vehicle, the Chevy Volt's moderate price, but it's extended range. What that means is that you get about 30 miles of electric range, which is enough for most of us for most days. And when you want to drive further, you just keep filling it up with gasoline. The Tesla Model S is a high-end electric vehicle that's wonderful to drive, and we'll talk more about it later. Here's a list of more electric vehicles to test drive, and it seems like there's more and more every day. While you're there test driving, tell your auto dealer, I want my next car to plug in. So let's talk about range anxiety for a minute. These are both long range vehicles, and we already talked about the Chevy Volt, so let's talk about the Tesla Model S in just a little bit more depth. Tesla has created a supercharging network across the world. In the United States at the end of 2014, the red dots show where all the charging stations are. At the end of 2015, you'll be able to drive pretty much any place in the country with your all-electric Tesla Model S. But these other cars are shorter range. They might have 60 or 100 miles of electric range. We put together a short video that talks about seven prescriptions for electric vehicle range anxiety. But with these moderate range vehicles, the key question is how many miles do you need to drive in a day? If you almost never drive over 30, 40, or 50 miles, these vehicles will work fine for you right now. If you need to take a longer trip, maybe you have access to a second car, or you can always rent a car on the savings from filling up with electricity over filling up with gasoline. Let's talk about energy independence, heat, and getting an energy audit. Now an energy audit is a detailed report of the energy loss, cost for the upgrades, and cost effectiveness for a home or business building. Here's an example of the energy audit for my house. It goes into detail on what measures you might want to take, talks about costs and savings, and it even talks about comfort. A home energy audit should include both a blower door and an infrared camera. And your action item in addition to getting the energy audit is to follow the cost-effective recommendations in the report. If you are buying a new furnace anyway, or you heat with electricity or propane, you should look into ground or air source heat pumps. They may save you a lot of money over time. Energy independence, electricity, and buying LED light bulbs. LEDs are just like old-style incandescent light bulbs. Same shape, same weight, they dim great, they're instant on when cold, and they fit in most fixtures. They're much better than incandescents because they last 25 times as long and they use much, much less energy, which leads to literally hundreds of dollars worth of energy savings. Cree and Philips are good LED brands, there are others. And the prices are falling fast. In fact, in 2013, I was paying $10 a bulb. In 2014, I was paying $7 a bulb. And we suggest you buy a few at a time at Home Depot, Amazon, or your local hardware store. We no longer recommend compact fluorescent light bulbs. They have mercury in them. You should Google EPA CFL cleanup 
to see what's involved in cleaning up from a broken bulb, and they should be recycled. Many hardware stores and county household hazardous waste facilities will recycle these bulbs for you for free. Energy independence and going solar, even with no money down. There are three ways to go solar. First is traditional, get a bid, write a check, and have solar installed on your house and you own and maintain it. The second way is a solar lease. This can be no or low money down and you end up getting two bills, one from your current electricity company but for less money, and the second is a solar lease bill where you pay for just the solar electricity generated. The two together may actually cost less than your current electric bill and one nice thing is that the solar leasing company maintains the solar system for you. The third way is a solar garden or shared or community solar. With a solar garden, a business installs a lot of panels, maybe over an old landfill or on top of a large roof. And you would effectively own, say, six panels, and the solar output from those panels would show up in your electric bill just as if the panels were installed on your house. This is a great way to get solar for an apartment or business where you don't own the building. And for your home, if you can't install solar, say, because your house is too shady. If you're buying a home, make sure that the home is solar ready. Make that part of your inspections and make sure to ask your realtor and builder to only show you solar ready homes. When you install solar, install batteries or make sure that the system is battery ready. Battery costs are falling rapidly and we think within the next few years most home and business solar systems will include batteries. It is okay to install solar now and make sure that it's installed quote, battery ready. For extra credit, we'll talk about a fifth topic. If you take solar and excellent insulation and windows, you get a super comfort net zero energy home, a home that produces as much energy as it consumes over the course of the year that's also super comfortable. Now this isn't a simple action. You're going to need to be building a new home or doing a major remodel and your builder is going to need to specialize in these kinds of homes. Here's an example at the low end of a super comfort home from Habitat for Humanity. This is a moderate super comfort home and this is a high end super comfort home. Again, very low energy bills, extremely comfortable. So join millions of others. Here are all the actions that we've talked about and we've made it easy for you to print these out by downloading an action PDF by clicking here. And there is one final action that we would like you to take and that's to make sure that you spread the word to your networks about these videos. So again, this is a three-part video series. Click here for part three and part three talks in more detail about the topics we talked about in part one and also provides additional actions that maybe aren't quite as simple to take. And then finally we have a web page where you can download slides, look at FAQs, and look at links to research papers on all of these topics.